Good morning and welcome to online story time with the Pluterville Public Library. My name is Miss Amanda and I'm so excited to get to share some books and songs with you today. Let's get started by singing The More We Get Together. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the dearer we'll be. When your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. online is meant to be enjoyed with kids and grown-ups together just like when we're in person because we want you guys to learn these songs to sing all throughout the week after story time. But let's find our mouse because he is hiding in one of these houses. Let's see. Let's try this one first. What color is this? That's right. It's green. So let's see if he's hiding in there. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the green house? No mouse. We'll try again. We'll try this house next. What color is this house? That's right, it's blue. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the blue house? No little mouse. Let's try this house next. This one is pink. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the pink house? No mouse. We have two houses left to try. Let's see if he's in here. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the orange house? No mouse. We have one more house left to try. What color is our last house? That's right, it's red. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the red house? He was there, and who did we find? We found Mickey Mouse, not just any mouse. All right, good job, you guys. Now, I'm going to read you a very exciting book filled with thunder and lightning. This book is called The Big Storm. A very soggy counting book and it's written and illustrated by Nancy Tafuri. And I want to say thank you to Simon & Schuster for granting us permission to read this book and share it with you online. So in this book there are lots and lots of animals and I want you to help me count them. And when we find that mouse I want you to say squeak squeak squeak. He comes up pretty early. Now, when I'm, I'm going to count with you, but I only have five fingers that I can use because the other ones are holding up the book. So after I get past five, I need you to help me count. So while I'm counting, I want you guys at home to count on your fingers too and help follow along. Here we go. The sky started to turn gray. Dark black clouds started to gather. Bird flew for cover. Now there was one in the hill hollow. The wind started to blow. Mouse ran for cover. Did you find a mouse? Now there were two in the hill hollow. And what does mouse say? Squeak, squeak, squeak. Very good. Let's see who hides in the hill hollow next. Leaves started to swirl. Squirrel ran for cover. Then there were three in the hill hollow. Lightning started to crack. Rabbit ran for cover. 
Then there were four in the hill hollow. Rain started to fall. Chipmunk ran for cover. And this made five in the hill hollow until Thunder started to rumble and grumble. Woodchuck, raccoon, opossum, and red fox all ran for cover. Now there were six, seven, eight, nine in the hill hollow, and then Skunk squeezed in and made it ten. Can you all hold up ten fingers? That means you need to hold up five fingers on this hand and five fingers on this hand. Good job. Ten critters huddled together tight and snug while the clouds gathered. The wind blew, the leaves swirled, the lightning cracked. The rain fell and the thunder rumbled and grumbled all night long. At last it was morning and the sky was clear, but all ten could still hear a rumble and a grumble in the air. So they turned and found the sound was coming from two bears. Grumble, grumble, rumble, grumble. Out they flew before the bears got their scent. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Away they all went, and what did they find? Let's see what they found. The big storm had turned into a very beautiful day. And that is the end. Thank you all for enjoying that story with me today. And if you liked this book, don't forget that you can go into the library catalog and place it on reserve so you can check it out and read it at home. Now let's sing a couple of new songs together. Our first song is about a little clapping mouse. So for this song, we're gonna clap together after every line like this. Good job. We're just gonna keep that rhythm up for the whole song. Okay. Behind the tree and under the house, there lived a teeny tiny mouse. She loved to sing, she loved to tap, but most of all, she loved to clap. She clapped all night, she clapped all day, she clapped to frighten the cat away. Clap, clap, clap. She clapped all over to scare away the cat. Good job! Let's sing that one more time now that you're familiar with it. Here we go. Okay, behind the tree, and under the house, there lived a teeny, tiny mouse. She loved to sing, she loved to clap, but most of all, she loved to, I did that wrong, she liked to tap, but most of all, she liked to clap. <laughs> she clapped all night, she clapped all day, she clapped to frighten the cat away. Good job! Now we have another fun song to sing, but for this song, we need a little friend. We need a mouse. Can you say hello, mouse? Squeak, squeak. That's very good. Are you ready to say hello to everyone? Okay, mouse is gonna say hello now. The mouse says hello, the mouse says hello. Squeak, 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 squeak. The mouse says hello. Good job, little mouse. All right, now it's time to bring out another friend. Are you ready to say goodbye? Okay. Let's see. Our next friend is someone that really likes to chase mice. What kind of animal do you think that is? We've got Fluffy the cat here. Are you ready to sing Fluffy? Yeah, he's ready. The cat says hello. The cat says hello. Meow, 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 meow. The cat says hello. Okay, Cat, are you ready to say goodbye now? All right, goodbye. We have one more friend. Now, this friend 
likes to chase the cat. What kind of animal likes to chase a cat, do you think? <gasps> a puppy dog. All right, puppy, are you ready to sing? Okay. The dog says hello. The dog says hello. Woof, 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 woof. The dog says hello. All right, puppy dog, time to say goodbye to our friends. It's almost time for me to say goodbye. But before I go, I wanna show you a couple of other books about mice that I think you should check out from the library. The first one that I have is Good News, Bad News by Jeff Mack. And I love this book for new readers because it only has just a few words that you have to know to read this book. The only words in this book are good news and bad news. If you know those words, you can read this whole book by yourself. The other book that I brought today is called I Am Tiger by Carl Newsom and Ross Collins. And I love this book because it's so silly because does this look like a tiger to you? It looks like a mouse to me, but in this whole book, he likes to say I am tiger. So if you want to find out if he is a mouse or a tiger, you'll have to read along. And I brought our craft to show you. If you picked up, registered and picked up one of the September craft kits um, from the library, uh, this craft right here is the one that you want to go with today's story time. It's a little mouse and there's a picture inside so you know what the craft should look like when you're done. Now it's time to sing goodbye. Can you get your wave ready? Good job. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon. See you soon. See you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, I'll see you soon on another day. Now I'm gonna put my mask on and get ready to go back to work. So if you see me around town or at curbside, this is what I'll look like. See you later.